Hey guys, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing good on this terrific Thursday. I know I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. Namaste, love and light to you and many blessings are yet to come. And if you can please do me the honor, if you have not, like and subscribe. You can give me a thumbs up. If you feel like you need to share my video, you can go ahead and do that. I don't mind. And if you feel free, go ahead and drop me a comment. I love to have positive feedback. And thank you for the support and coming to see what I'm about today. And love and light to you. And if you are a returning sub, thank you so much for your support. Love and light and blessings to you also. And thank you for the support and love. And come and see what I'm about today. Today my video is about Twin Flame 101, INFJs, the saga continues. There are so many different things that I'm learning about myself as being an INFJ and it's just like, you know, we, I don't know about you, but I love to learn new things. I really do. I love to learn new things about myself that, you know, that educates me to soak up my mind because it's like, you never, never too old to learn about things and it's just like and I feel like your mind is a waste of space if you don't try to go out there and try to find more things about yourself that you resonate with you know and so it's like the more I find out the more I share with you guys today I'm listening to uh beautiful Japanese music bonsai garden beats um and I'll go ahead and put that link down below if you guys like to listen to it it's very good meditation music um it's about an hour long and it's just like a lot of times, this guys, if you have not noticed, I don't know what these weird noises are in the background, but I know one of my friends that told me about it one of the days, said, girl, what is that noise in the background? Like, sound like somebody's like growling or something. And I just feel like I'm releasing like the, you know, old inner demons that, you know, that needs to be released. So I think that's what it is to me. I don't know telling what it is, but I don't know. I don't never hear it in anybody else's videos when they make YouTube videos, but you know, it's, it, it's just what it is, but so I just try to put music in the background because I don't want it to, you know, screw off on anybody. When I do my videos, I love to send out positive energy and light and love. I don't want any of the extraness that I'm, you know, exiting out of my life to come off and spew off into you if it has anything to do with negative. So I just try to put positive music in the background. So, um, but that, you know, that's on another note. But, you know, it's just more things about INFJs we find out about ourselves. It's just with me. It's just really weird, but they say we are contradictive too. Because <laughs> it's like there's sometimes I feel like an extrovert and there's sometimes I feel like an introvert. Because it's like I'm a very sociable person, but it's just I love being by myself. It's just like I cannot be in a lot of, you know, a lot of atmosp atmospheres, but I know I have to practice that, you know. And sometimes it can be hard, you know, um, where I love to be a wallflower. I don't, you know, I don't like dealing with a lot of people because it's just like, you know, like, if you want to go get your hair or nails done, like, I want to go get my nails done. And it, it's like, when I started getting around a lot of people and I'm not vibing with them, or if I feel something's wrong, they were like, oh, do you want your nails painted? I'm like, oh, just clear coat me and I'm out the door. <laughs> you know, because at first I was like, oh, I want this color. I can't find out what color I want. Because sometimes we'd be indecisive, indecisive at, on certain things. But then we, you know, we don't like chaos in our life either. We don't like color, you know, clutter in our life and everything like that. So it, it's just like sometimes it can be very contradicting and I find out that you know it's like more INFJs they they tend to have traumatic childhoods um they they've gone through a lot of death in their life and stuff like that and they get very intrigued about it I guess that's the reason why I like horror movies so much because it's just like I like to know how the brain works how things function it's just like I caught you know when I used to watch tv I used to catch myself watching like I you know CSI and uh the first 48 you know, um, I think the next 48, whatever it was called, but it was just like, I would see a lot of things, you know, people like, dang, I didn't catch that, and you know, it's just like, I don't know if it's just the, you know, empath or, you know, indigo thing, we, we pay attention to a lot of things that other people won't pay attention to, and we calculate a lot of stuff, like, I'm an OCD person, like crazy, like, even I have like a thousand and some movies, and every one of them have to be in alphabetical order, you know, like my clothes were categorized by color and seasons. <laughs> and people are just like, why do you do your clothes like that? Because they're categorized by color and seasons. And I have to have them like that. So it, it's just a lot of things that I find out about myself. And I'm like, dang, yep, I do that. Yep, I do that. And it, it's just like, you know, it's all these different things. It's, you know, I catch myself like reading people. Like some people tell me, oh, your eyes, you're, you know, 
some people get scared because they talk to me and I, you know, I've been to places where I can just stare completely in your eyes and I'm listening to you. You know, and a lot of people are just like, why do you do that? Because that lets me know that you're listening. When you look right dead in people's faces and sometimes it can be very intimidating and you look and it's just like you're reading your soul it's like we love to read people we we know we, we want to know how you work and it's just like we're not i don't know why i like to but i just like to learn how people work and some people are like gosh you're crying a little bit too much and i try not to be that way so it, it's just like you know well, i've been to different jobs i've been like that and sometimes it is like because i noticed like lately in the jobs that i had um it's um like a lot of females didn't like me too much but then there's some of them that did and it was just like some of them i've you know i've been friends with and then they all of a sudden they start acting crazy i don't know why <laughs> i really don't know why because it's just like i didn't really change but if it, it's just like if your attitude changes then that's how i would treat you i would be standoffish with you and I'm just like well you know it is what it is but it's just like when you catch yourself being you know there, there's sometimes they say INFJs are very cold-hearted and emo unemotional we are very emotional we are very empathetic but we can read through the fact is if you're being fake and you're trying to play victim to yourself they're really or you're really going through some traumatic stuff and I can relate to the people who are really going through traumatic stuff because it's just like when you try to play victim it's like you you don't have enough attention screwed out on you like if there's somebody that you know with me I mesh well with a lot of people and we we can we tend to be chameleons towards other people and it's not like we're being fake but we can basically are we are adjusting around our surroundings but it's just when it comes to that fakeness I don't have time for it. It's just like I've had bosses that will want you to go ahead and be jealous of the things that they do. And I'm just like, uh, okay, if this is not work related, I got to go. You know, I don't got time for social calls. And they were like, well, damn, that was rude. Excuse my language. You know, and I'm just like, well, I'm not trying to be that way. But if you want me to be jealous off you and you want me to do this, maybe it's not about to happen. So you can go ahead and deal with that other person because it's like when it comes to people pleasing, man, that they'll start giving me the heebie jeebies because I feel like. I don't have time to be fake like that. Only time I can see myself being like that is if there's a gun put to my head and that's the only way you're going to get me to be that way. <laughs> so it's just like I just don't have time for all that. So it's just like more and more things we learn. And it's just like some people are just like, well, you know, Rosalind, you know, do you have a man? And I'm like, oh, no, you know. And it was just like, why? You're so this. You're so beautiful. You're this, this, that. I just can't understand why you're, you're not you're by yourself. Because that's when the introvert steps in. Steps in. I've been celibate for so long and all that it's just when you have been in bad relationships you tend to want to respect yourself more to where when you find that person that you really click with and you resonate with I'd rather be by myself than be with somebody and not be truly happy because I've been in situations like that where I was not truly happy and I just went ahead and dealt with it and it's, it's not it's only hindering yourself it's only making you feel bad so I try not to do that stuff and it's just when you start learning how, you know, people work and how that, you know, this and this and that, you tend to want to respect yourself more. Because it's just like some people just want to be with somebody just for the fact of saying that they're with somebody. And I don't want to do that, you know, because I complete myself. But if I can find that person that, you know, that I can really resonate with and deal with them, you know, then that's fine. You know, and that's fine. But it's just like for now, I'm just happy by myself. You know, I don't. You know, I don't, I don't like being lonely, but that's when the contradiction comes in with the INFJs. You know, I don't like being by myself, but if I'm going to be with somebody, I want to be sure I'm completely happy, like spiritually, emotionally, sexually, financially, you know, all those things. And it's just like when we go through, you know, I've been through so many different abusive relationships when it comes to family. You know, my family used to talk down to me really bad. And, you know, it, it was just like I got to that point where I put myself inside of a box and I believed that until the points where my kids were starting to spew off and doing the same things so that, you know, they would purposely do things in front of my children just for my children to act like that towards me. And I had to put that to a halt. So it was just a lot of things that I've been through. And it was just like I always just wondered why I went through these things. So it was just like when I finally found out about INFJs, it just really intrigued me to make me want to know more about it. And it's just the more that I find out, the more that I got, you know, I want to tell you guys about it. So it was just like when they tell us, you know, you're very, you know, you can be cold hearted and stuff like that. But I'm not really cold hearted. And it's just the fact is I can find myself crying. We will cry at a drop of a hat. But a lot of times... 
you know, you guys sometimes will catch me in my vulnerable moments where, you know, spirit guides will tell me this is the time where you need to be vulnerable in front of these people, not act like a robot. Like, you know, you don't really have emotion. And I do have emotion. This sometimes y'all you guys will see it where I can get really pissed or you can see it when I'm really upset, you know, and I feel like, you know, this is what you guys need to see in me. But there, you know, I don't do that often. Because it's just like, to me, I feel like I, you know, I keep my feelings to myself because a lot of people can be judgmental, um, especially with the situation I'm going through now, you know, it is causing me problems to where I can't open up to a lot of people and, you know, which I hope people understand, but it's all good. So it's just like when I learn more and more about myself, it's just like, you know, I want to know why I act this way, why I do this, you know, and it's just like, I've noticed that, you know, when I meet people, you know, I'm very... You know, I read into them and just try to see if this person is this person. And sometimes it's like if people know they're a certain way, they will not let you in. You know, that's okay, too. It's all good. And then you'll find out the reason why they don't want to let you in. So it's like you're learning more about people. And then sometimes they can feel like it's flirtatious. Like I'll tell people, oh, you're beautiful and this and this and that. And it's not about me being that way because it's like I truly feel that way about you. And I've said that about, the, you know, INFJs before. If we don't feel that way, we won't tell you that. We don't sit up here and kiss your butt just for you to, you know, want to hear something. You know, we won't tell you something you really want to hear. And the only way I can be like that is somebody put my gun, like I said, put a gun up to my head and do like, oh yeah, you, yeah, you the, you the ish. You know, you're this, this, that. But other than that, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't do that. So it's just like more stuff that I find out about myself. You know, it's just like when people tell you they miss you, it's just like, why do you miss me? You know, and I can tell people I miss them too, but it's just like, you know, I can miss the friendship that I had with these people. And it's just, you know, but I just feel like if it, if it was meant for us to be reunited, it will happen one day. So I try not to say that too much when I miss people because you really don't get to miss them because, you know, you're, everybody's always connected in, in some kind of way. So it's just like more things I learn about myself and more I'm intrigued to want to learn more. So it's just like you're never too old to learn more about yourself. And it's just like you're supposed to keep your mind going, challenge yourself. Because INFJs, we challenge ourselves all the time. And we try, we do ass backwards stuff. And it's just like that. that's where it runs into Hayoka hey, impasse to me too. So it's just like more, like I said, the more stuff I learn about, I'm going to present it to you guys and it's just like I find it very interesting you know and you may be resonating with the stuff that I might talk about and you know hopefully you know you do and you can drop a comment and that's all I pretty much got for you guys today um and um it yeah guys I don't know if I said it in the video because it's, that's another thing about INFJs we we're a perfectionist OD, OCDs and perfectionists I did this video about five or six times so I don't know if I told you guys you know I did you know I took a break yesterday but I went you know and dealt with a lot of people's you know went through you know different people's uh sites and stuff like that and there was some of them were very entertaining then some of them you know gave me insight on certain things I didn't even know about like you know uh uh, the solar panels and you know different stuff that people see is just like my friend um uh that lives in New Zealand and stuff like that you know they have beautiful scenery and stuff like that and I'm just like oh my gosh I want to go to New Zealand and you know learning new things about you know my friends overseas in Japan you know they're showing me things I'm just like gosh I ain't no no you know this is what they how they make their food and everything like that so it's just like I've been stopping by different people's channels and I found so many different insights and it just touched my heart just to get to be able to know the more of the community that you're adapting with so it's just like guys if i haven't got to your channel yet give me time i will be there i'm just come by and stop by and show you love we at least i expect it because some people they're like oh gosh we subscribe to her and you know they they might she might not come back and return a favor yes i do you know i might not do it every day but at least i try to stop by and do that because it's just like sometimes it takes a lot of energy just like just to make these videos and then you, you're jumping off in somebody else's world and you're you're taking on their energies too because sometimes that can be really hard especially for me so please forgive me if i have not stopped by your channel yet but just give me time because there's just a lot of people that have subscribed to me and i'm trying to get a hold of each and every one just to show my love and support and hopefully you guys will do the same um, and I will talk to you guys later and I will keep you guys my prayers as always and I hope you do the same for me. Peace, love, and light and namaste and I will talk to you later. Bye.